शो इज मैं फॉर इन्फॉर्मेशनल एंड एंटरटेनमेंट पर्पज ओनली जब हमारे परिवार के बुजुर्गों की सेहत और देखभाल की बात होती है तो घर पर इन होम केयर वाला ऑप्शन सबसे बढ़िया है ऑनलॉक का पेस प्रोग्राम एक ऐसा कन्वीनियंट एंड पर्सनलाइज्ड ऑप्शन है जिसके जरिए हमारे बुजुर्ग घर पर हमारे साथ रहकर यही देखभाल और सेवा का लाभ उठा सकते हैं अब चाहे वो घर पर रहे या ऑनलॉक वाले पेस सेंटर में आए उनको वही डेडिकेटेड एंड प्रोफेशनल केयर मिलेगी ऑनलॉक ने बुजुर्गों की सेहत को अपना प्रायोरिटी बना लिया है और जानने के लिए वन एट फाइव फाइव कॉल करें दैट वन एट फाइव After months of screen time and no play dates, the Children's Discovery Museum is open for Purple Play Days of Summer. It's time to rediscover the wonder. Climb on the fire engines, splash around in the waterworks, blow bubbles and scale the tree climber in Bill's backyard. Oodles of hands-on arts and culture, STEM, health and nature-themed exhibits await your family. The Giant Purple Museum is open every day Wednesday through Sunday. Reservations are required at cdm.org. That's cdm.org. Top of the morning bay with good morning bay. Get to know about the traffic on your way and what's news around the world today. Some wisdom skills along the way. Oh, and a song to hum along with and sway. Get your perfect entertaining start to the day. At 9 a.m. every weekday morning with Mahima's, Mahima's Good Morning Bay. से प्यार भरा नमस्ते नमस्कार वेलकम नमस्कार खुश आमदी सत्यकाल जय स्वामी नारायण जय श्री कृष्ण जय जिनेन्द्र हमारे भाई बंधु को बोलते ही आली मदद मोर आली मदद बोलते हुए सारे फीजे बंधु बड़े जान हम आ गए हैं आपके प्यारे महिमा के द्वारा मैं सवाल तू बाबा And of course, myself, Alto Rani. Like, I'm going to go drive down here. That's going to make it totally exciting and totally starting. <laughs> and of course, Bajan, today, of course, today is 25th of August. Hai, so, if you have a birthday, then all of you guys have a happy birthday. <laughs> well, every day is somebody's birthday for sure, right, Alto Rani? Yeah. I don't think any day in the entire year when nobody's birthday is there. I know, seriously. Yeah, everybody's birthday is on somebody's day or day. Yeah. That's a good thing about birthdays. But also, you know, you know about the science behind birthday, Alto Rani? Uh. Research has found that the more you have, the longer you live. Oh. What? What? Seriously? <laughs> That's what you need on this uh, Wednesday, brother. What? Brother, <laughs> <laughs> such a wonderful fact, right? Brother, the more birthdays you have, the longer you live. Oh God. <laughs> That's a no pain, huh? Okay. Hey, brother, let me tell you what. Uh, we have a nice garden, kirana food, and everything. But right now, what we got to jump into directly right now is our new updates for you guys, because yes. A traffic update. Oh my God, Father, I need to traffic update. How could you jump into traffic news without traffic? Okay, yes. here you go, Bajan. Let's take a hard turn on Saturday. It's time for the Bondi traffic update. Call us from wherever you are at four zero eight nine one two eight two five four six. Bondi traffic update. Bajan, the gurdi on the roads is still not here, Bajan. Uh, for some reason, I don't know what it is. People are getting uh, planning their trips. I suppose that's very good. Uh, but uh, there's a report of a few things. On the f- on the freeways and the bridges to be keep in mind because there's actually a disabled vehicle on uh, 92 eastbound near the Clavita Road in Hayward. Uh, CHP is on the scene trying to get a tow truck there, but they have not come in as yet. So probably some time, uh, you know, we got to wait. Uh, traffic collision on t- with injuries on 101 northbound north of Golden Gate uh, Vista Point. But please don't uh, go with the reactions he's giving right now on uh, next to me, next to me. Listen to this news. She actually gave the reaction to some news she read, I suppose. Yeah. It was not because of the collision that the uh, injuries are all there. Oh, sorry. रिपोर्ट think 580 is having a couple of incidents there a uh, uh, traffic collision an accident over there uh, uh, near the palovar road in hayward 
Uh, it is impacting traffic heading down from Dublin towards San Leandro. So probably if you are stuck there, I'm sorry, there's no other route for you guys to take, I suppose. Because 580 always we consider this a place where there's no other um, alternative routes for you to take. You're stuck there, you're stuck there for good. Uh, as long as it clears up at least anything else. Uh, weather-wise, but um, it's kind of cloudy outside. Yeah, right? It's cloudy. It's not supposed to be cloudy. It's supposed to be nice and sunny. But don't worry, Banjar. By noon, we'll burn up the airways for sure. Um, and we'll have clear skies all the way into the later part of the afternoon, also in the even, early part of the evening. And uh, after that, we're not going to have clouds ever, not as in at least until the next few couple of weeks, Banjar. Uh, Sunday also going to be pretty nice and hot. Oh. Yeah, it's going to be in the upper 80s. Oh, God. Yes, it's going to be like 89, 90. Saturday, if I don't use Zoom over, Saturday is almost 90, 91. Oh, God. Yes, you called me? No. Okay. Uh, Banjan, so right now it's time for us to go into the news. Fatwani, I hope you're ready with your news uh, Yes, cast. Banjan, I'm very excited, totally excited, because I get to go and get a free donut. Not one, but two free donuts, because I'm vaccinated. So if you get vaccinated, you can show vaccine proof. Then Krispy Kreams is giving two free donuts every day from August 30th to September Wait, wait, wait. 1st. So I can go back and show them every day? Or pretty every thing? day you get two free donuts. Donuts at Krispy Kreme. So you can go every day and show your card and get uh, yes. two free donuts? Yes, yes. What are you waiting for? Uh, no, these are news you must share before I come here. <laughs> they they actually uh, began their promotion for people to get vaccinated uh, in March uh, with a free donut a day for the rest of the year. So far, Krispy Kreme says it's given away more than 2.5 million donuts uh, through the deal. 2.5 million donuts? Yeah. And, and now they're the making a new donut specifically for those who are vaccinated. It's in this shape. It's a heart-shaped donut. I, I'm not bothered about the heart shape because once it goes inside, it'll go in the mush shape. Okay, also you'll get a traditional glazed donut. That's the best uh, Krispy Kreme donut for me at least. I, I love it. Well, is it going to be a smaller size? No, it's going to be two. F the usual, the traditional donuts. You get two of those. Yes! So I've got to show the card for that? Yes, you have and to I show that. And are you case. sure, Father, that I can go back tomorrow also, show the card and get the... Yes, Altamaba, They won't come day. back and they won't ask me to not uh, get, uh, you know... Yes, every day. You're sure there's no fine print there? It well, I don't know. Sounds too Maybe good to be true. That's what when something says. sounds too good to be true, probably it is. Well, one more reason for you to get vaccinated with the child. No, one more reason for you to get donuts. Yeah. <laughs> Vaccination. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and the other thing about vaccinations, well, if you're not vaccinated and you work for Delta Airlines, then you're going to have to pay $200 more every month for a company-sponsored healthcare plan. So, this is what That's Delta smart. Airlines... Yeah, they announced on Wednesday that they will have employees pay $200 more every month for their company-sponsored healthcare plan if they choose not to vaccinate against COVID-19. This move is going to add a surcharge to the health insurance contributions um, and is the latest tactic by corporate America to push employees to get the shots to fight the pandemic. You know, Falcon, I'll tell you what, pandemic has made us think in so many ways. It has even affected us politics, you know, why? Right. You know how? Huh. Politics-wise, also, the pandemic has affected us. But I'll tell you why. People, if they think that no nature, politics, no connection, there is a huge connection right there. Just a simple thing, Father, a simple fact about this vaccination, uh -huh. forcing people to vaccinate uh -huh. is infringement of one of the rights which we have in America. We're not forcing people. We're just saying... You're co coercing them. You're coaxing people. In fact, Biden, still, Biden even made still, this thing, right? Uh, get a, get you know, a shot and get a, correct, correct. a I, beer. I understand. So basically, yes, I understand what you're saying. But think of it in an angle of a person. Now, what else can be done that way, mm. right? You can actually get people together. It is actually the 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 it's the philosophy of uh, majority rule. Like you know, Alto Baba. Yeah, it means that people, people are still free. So minority, to not get minority, your risk, your want. rights are at risk right now. But if this happens, minority, your rights are at risk because the majority can choose to do something which they feel is important and make you do it. Well, but Jan. Da, da, da. Uh, well, that is the uh, uh, ABCT. It's up what? to you. Please, we're not trying to. We're not trying to tell you. Uh, the most important thing <laughs> is to be safe. Is, uh, Alto Baba. Yeah. Okay. I just want to say, but I'm just trying to get people to start thinking. Come on, yeah. So not get vaccinated. No, I'm saying that. People? Think about it. What's going to happen? They, they talk about slippery stuff. Many things, right? The COVID actually has impact. They're not forcing people. It, they're saying it's that it's forcing is not mean forcing with a gun. Coercing also is forcing. So right now, making them pay extra for it. Equality. Where is it? Where is it? 
Tabun <laughs> Jan, uh, let's tell you in terms of coercing, the U.S. Supreme Court is actually uh, coercing the Biden administration. Ah, yeah. see, it's what happened, right? Well, what they're saying is by denying President Joe Biden's bid to rescind an immigration policy implemented by his predecessor Donald Trump that forced thousands of asylum seekers to stay in Mexico, awaiting U.S. hearings. The court, with three liberal justices dissenting, rejected the Biden administration's effort to block a Texas-based judge's ruling um, requiring. the government to revive Trump's remain in Mexico policy formerly known as the migrant Proto- uh, protections protocols program the supreme court 63 majority conservative majority includes three justices that have been appointed by Trump clearly um, it you know now we're going to start seeing the supreme court pushing back on a lot of these things um, where they're going to keep up the Trump agenda <clears throat> Pfizer has started the process for the US approval of the COVID-19 booster shot in people aged 16 years and older. The drug maker said on Wednesday the company's intent to complete the submission by the end of the week. This could potentially pave the way for a third dose that can be offered to people with compromised immune systems. The United States is going to be prioritizing troop evacuation in the last two days of the Kabul operation. The US military will continue evacuating people from Kabul airport until the August 31st deadline um, if needed. By will prioritize the removal of U.S. troops and military equipment on the last couple of days. The Pentagon has said there are about 5,400 troops at the airport, a number that President Joe Biden says is set to go down to zero by the end of the month, depending on cooperation from the Taliban. There's also news that um, is coming out uh, with regard to uh, the Taliban agreeing to let Afghans, uh, the people who want to leave, even after the U.S. withdrawal deadline of August 31st. Um, India on Tuesday brought back about 78 evacuees from Afghanistan. They reached uh, New Delhi after a halt at Tajik, capital Dushanbe. Um, uh, Ukraine and Iran have denied reports that a Ukrainian evacuation plane was hijacked from Kabul. Um, But um, that is also news that's coming from the Afghan front, Banijan. And U.S. contractors, American lawmakers uh, are cutting across party lines, are urging President Joe Biden to consider extending the August 31st deadline for withdrawal from Afghanistan amid a looming humanitarian crisis arising partly from a money versus people standoff between Washington and Kabul. U.S. and Western powers are cutting off financial and money supply to Kabul given the uncertain situation. there and the Taliban amid impending economic collapse in turn is virtually holding Americans and their Afghan allies hostage not allowing them to reach the airport for evacuation so since the situation is barreling down to a humanitarian crisis with thousands of Westerners and their Afghan cohorts still standing in the country What the U.S., even as the U.S. is managing to airlift more than 20,000 people over the past 24 hours, uh, the clock is ticking down for the August 31st deadline. So what they're now doing is that they are using U.S. contractors uh, to use private charters to fly out evacuees. That's uh, something else that is happening. And uh, the other news is that uh, influential lawmakers from the G7 now want India to be invited to the G7 blocks meeting. Uh, to deal with the Afghan crisis. Um, they want to seek uh, to develop a common and united front for global security and regional stability in the aftermath of the eight Taliban taking over Afghanistan. U.S. Senate, Senator Bob Menendez, who is also the chairman of the powerful Senate Foreign Relations Committee and his counterparts from Italy, France, Germany, Japan and the U.K. Uh, and the European Parliament in a joint statement say, also said African Union also should be invited to attend the individual G7 meetings when appropriate. <clears throat> Uh, the withdrawal of the U.S. and allied forces from Afghanistan should not be misinterpreted by the go- global community as any weakening of resolve from the G7 governments to uh, in taking all measures to combat cross-border terrorism is what they announced. So they are saying that India is going to be a crucial ally in this area and that's the reason they're inviting uh, India to be part of those negotiations and discussions. In local news, Banjan, um, air quality in the Lake Tahoe area is the worst as the 
wildfire smoke lingers. Uh, smoke from the Caldor fire and other spot fires in the Sierra Nevada brought air quality around Lake Tahoe to hazardous levels, including the worst air rating in the U.S. one day and the worst in the world the next day, according to reports. The air quality index on Wednesday morning showed a reading of 530 for the Tahoe region, by far the worst on the planet, according to Purple Air. Uh, new tilting uh, work on the $100 million fix of the Millennium Tower has halted as engineers scramble to figure out why the building has suddenly sunk an inch in a matter of weeks since construction began. NBC uh, Bay Area's investigative unit um, uh, reported on this. The perimeter pile upgrade project paid for as part of a settlement to massive litigation over the listing concrete uh, high-rise is designed to shore up the foundation along uh, Mission and Fremont Streets to prevent further settling in the northwest corner. After years of planning, Cruz and May began to first uh, um, drill a, a, the dozen of the three foot wide holes, each lined with steel sleeves down about 100 feet. Uh, under the plan, Cruz would uh, next sink as many as 52 feet. Uh, feet wide concrete piles uh, through these steel shells uh, down another 100 feet to bedrock apparently. But now what is happening is this has come to a standstill because the building has suddenly started tilting. Wow, it'll be the leaning tower of what? The leaning tower of millennium or whatever you call that. Nice. Yeah. So we have a road landmark afterwards. Yeah. When the foundation fix work began in May, the tower had been tilting just over 17 inches at the top with the rate of sinking, engineers said, appeared to have slowed over time. But soon drilling began uh, to put in the first dozen of the 36 inch wide casings and uh, the tilting has increased. Um, uh, as of mid-August, the data shows that it has sunk another full inch mm -hmm. from the start of the work. Translating into a lean of as much as five in more inches from the top. This is now altogether about 22 inches towards Fremont and Mission. Hmm. Yeah, it's scary, right? What if that building comes down, dude? This <laughs> it's it's already coming down. It's already down one inch. Yeah, it's it's kind of scary, especially after what happened in Florida with that uh, condominium high rise. Oh wow! It's really scary. Um, and also in other news, when John, some parents are concerned about fights on campuses at high schools in the East San Jose area and incidents have them wondering if it's time security guards and police presence are established once again on campuses. Worry stems from recent instances, including a fight shown uh, in a viral video, Banijan, which shows a freshman at Silver Creek High School being knocked unconscious by a third student who intervened in a fight. Um, and uh, also a judge in uh, has ordered UC Berkeley to freeze enrollment over impact on neighborhoods. UC Berkeley at UC um, Berkeley officials must freeze campus enrollment at the 2021 level. <clears throat> Following a court decision on Monday over the university's impact on nearby neighborhoods, Alameda County Superior Court um, Judge Brad Seligman found that rising enrollment has affected neighborhood housing, causing displacement and creating unacceptable noise. The group uh, Save Berkeley's Neighborhoods uh, said on Tuesday. Unacceptable noise, Alto Baba. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And uh, in news from India, um, after the festive week of Onam, Kerala on Wednesday has reported 31,445 new COVID cases, the highest since the 20th of May. The test positivity rate in the state stands at 19%. The last time Kerala crossed the 30,000 mark was on May 20th when it reported 30,491 cases. Meanwhile, the toll mounted to 19,972 uh, with 215 new deaths. Um, and finally, <coughs> in India is reporting 37,593 new cases uh, of COVID in the last 24 hours. That's pretty much what we have uh, time for this morning's Good Morning Bay Alto Baba. That's it. Oh yes, my God, yes. Brother that was all you have as news for you guys today. But don't worry, before we go, I'm going to make sure that we give you a Gadiga Kida. Yeah. Uh, which you can keep in your mind, Brother John. And uh, Fatwani, it's, uh, it's actually the trivia Fatwani. If she can tell me which uh, movie this is from. Uh. And. Uh, uh, if she can tell me which movie it is from, obviously I'll make sure she gets the donut in that particular place. I'm not even going to get the donut because I am vaccinated. Ah, talk about vaccination. Talk about the fact that you get the answer right. What? Which movie is it from? Tell me. This, I have to get the song. I don't know what the song is. Song is coming. This song. This song. This song. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, 
So don't worry, Fadil. You're gonna get to do that, okay? Yeah. Don't forget to give access to card. This is the movie featuring Vidya Balan Bhushan, who told you radio the hotties where entertainment keeps getting hotter. 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 Seriously, don't believe us? You listen to her. Hold on. And with that, we're going to tell you, Bunijan, it's time for us to be saying bye-bye and have yourself a wonderful Wednesday. We'll see you live at 5 on the evening Pam Pam Drive. You are listening to Radio D Hotties.